Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little for sale haul. Um, so if you wanted to see what I picked up, and I'll be using it actually on my face today too, and how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okie dokie. Here we go. Let's uh, start off by showing you what I picked up and then what I'll be using today. I can't use it all today because, um, sorry, I'm just gonna fix my camera here. <clears throat> because I bought multiple of some things, so you'll see what I mean. I'll probably use them next week, I guess. And I'm looking very glowy right now because I just applied my glow screen and I forgot how very glowy it was. <clears throat> so, sorry. <laughs> um, and it's overcast. As soon as I wanna film, overcast. So I have a little help from my ring light. I've just turned it down. So hopefully the quality and the lighting and everything is okay. So let's start off with what I picked up first. This is two orders in one box here. So I have the Grow Healthy Hair Starter Kit from Vegamore. So I had noticed, I mentioned this in my last video that like when I have my hair up, sometimes it looks like I'm just like bald right there. And I just want to fill that in a little bit more. And it could be a number of things, I don't know. I mean, I sleep on my side, so I feel like that doesn't help. I do sleep with my hair up or in a low bun, but when I do put it up, it's very loosely put up. It's not pulling, so I don't think it's like traction alopecia or anything, but who knows? I mean, it could be. So this is what the starter kit includes. You have the revitalizing conditioner, the Grow Revital Revitalizing Conditioner, and this is 50 milliliters. Sorry, it was open. And then the revitalizing shampoo, so again, 50 ml. And then the Vegamore Grow Hair Serum, and this is the 30 ml. So this regular size, I think is $89, which is very pricey for 30 mls, but you don't need that much. So I tried it in my hair last night for the first time. And I mean, obviously I only tried it last night, so I didn't see a difference yet, but I will update you on how I feel about that. Um, some people did mention it did make their scalp a little bit itchy. I mean, if I haven't washed my hair in a few days, then my scalp is itchy regardless. So I was a little bit itchy, but I don't know if it was from that or just cause I need to wash my hair. So um, like I said, that serum itself is 89, but I got the set for 89. So I was like, well, I may as well try the shampoo and conditioner plus the discount of the sale. So that was the first thing I wanted to pick up. That was like the very first thing in my cart that I can't put back together. I'm just gonna set that aside. I got my birthday gift too. So I just ended up picking up the Moroccan oil set. So this has the uh, shampoo and conditioner. I use the conditioner, so I really like it. It came with a little hand cream. And then this is like a decent size of the Moroccan oil because I've had mine forever and I don't use a lot. I don't need a lot because I don't want it to weigh down my hair but yeah this is a pretty decent size so I got this so then when I run out of my other one I have a backup okay and let's start off with this this is the k18 biometric hair science air wash dry shampoo so <clears throat> I've heard mixed reviews about this Basically, it is not an aerosol spray. It is a liquid. You can hear, you have to shake it up really well before you use it. It's expensive, but the good thing about this is you don't have to use as much, apparently. So I've heard some really good and bad reviews from this. So I was a little bit scared because after I purchased it, then I started hearing the more negative things. So it's 118 ml, so four fluid ounces. Um, you basically use less, you use like one to two sprays in each section, which I only do just like the crown and then the center of my hair. So a lot of people were saying it makes their hair feel like straw-like and uh, Babs Beauty had said that and she said she had a hard time even just brushing through her hair and SMLXO also said the same thing if you follow her. Um, so... I don't know. I 
put it in today because this would have been wash day. So I think I'm on like day three of not washing my hair. And I don't really have that feeling. I mean, it feels like you put a hair texturizer in your hair. So if you don't like that feeling, then you won't like it. But it doesn't really feel like super, super dry or straw-like in my opinion. But I just, I didn't use that much. So maybe that was the issue. Maybe they used a little bit more than I did. But because I knew that, I used a little bit less. So, sorry, that was very long. So I also got the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Color Corrector. And I know I just got this one, the Cali Ray, but I wanted to try this because it's a little bit deeper pink. So I got it in the shade Cherry Blossom and I'm gonna use this today. So what I like to do with the Cali Ray is just mix it in with my concealer. But I think for this one, I'm gonna use it, then go over with my concealer. So I'm excited to try that today. And the newly reformulated NARS blushes, I have tried this already. This is in the shade Sex Appeal, and this was a Sophia Sees Beauty recommendation. Well, she said she was gonna pick it up. It looks extremely light, but it does show up on the face. So if you're fair, then it'll show up. If you're darker than me or medium skin tone, I feel like probably not, but it's very pretty. So I don't know if I'm gonna use that one today or this one. I picked this one up from Sephora. Sorry, Sephora collection. This is in the shade Trust Yourself, number 51. I just thought that was such a pretty pink. It's a little bit more purpley toned, I would say, than like the Dior blush. So I haven't decided which one of those I want to use yet because I have used Sex Appeal already, but I haven't used this one. But this one's not new and the NARS is new. So I also picked this up because everybody keeps talking about it and everybody's obsessed with it. So I was like, okay, well, let's just try her out. And I've been liking it. I don't know that I'm like obsessed with it, but I'm going to use it today. I'm going to try her out. And I also picked this up. I had mentioned I wanted to pick this up in the mini size because I had tried it before and I really liked it. See Ulla Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. So it says it helps to strengthen the skin barrier and hydrate the skin, um, improve skin strength, firmness, and elasticity with vegan peptides, ceramides, and collagen. I like that. So... This is the size, it's pretty ridiculously small, but I just wanted to try it again because then if I really like it, then I'll just get the big one. So this is just a 15 ml, teeny tiny. Okay, got a Sephora brush because they were on sale. I know what you're thinking, this is absolutely massive and you're right, it is huge. Like look at the size of it compared to my face. <laughs> it's huge. We'll discuss this in a minute, um, but you know, it's 30% off, so you know. Got a Gucci lipstick in the shade Lorna Dune. This was a recommendation from Khaki because I like her recommendation. I mean, I mean, if you know me, you know I like like a grayy pink beige. It's just, it's beautiful. This is the satin. I believe. Yeah. So, yeah, so Khaki is basically the exact same skin tone as I am, and she likes a really, like, subdued lip, and that's what I'm into, so I was like, okay. And she's right. It's beautiful. I got one of these guys, because again, this is the 30% off. This is the Sephora Precious Gemstones palette. I have one already, but I wanted to try this one. It's a little bit warmer. I thought it was pretty. And this, and I know the other one is good quality. So yeah, this is in the shade. Um, pyrite. Pyrite. So I'm going to be using that today. I picked up the Pat McGrath Labs. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in the shade Baby Pink. I mean, 
the pink is very subtle. It's definitely close to white, but I have been enjoying this. I forgot how much I used to like it. Um, I kind of switched from this one to the HD skin for Makeup Forever, and then I switched from that to the Givenchy, so I'm kind of back on this one, and I've been really liking it lately. So I will use that today also. Try to get all this stuff out of the way. I also picked up the Sephora bronzer. This is the new bronzer that they came out with and it's matte, and I also have the shade 00 Sunkissed Haze, and this is the lightest shade. So if you're very, very fair, I don't know that this will work, but I'll show you what it looks like. Very fragranced. If you don't like fragrances, I don't know why they did this because the other ones were not fragranced, and like why, I mean, it has kind of like a luxury feel to it when it has a fragrance, but I don't know, I just feel like a lot of people won't like that. I don't mind it, it doesn't bother me, but it might bother some people. So, I picked this up. This is the One Coat Wow by Huda Beauty, just the mini, because I really liked this when I used it, and I just wanted to pick it up again and see if I still really liked it. And this is the Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel. I was pretty much running out of my Benefit 24 hour um, brow setter so I wanted to try this guy and this is a mini as well I just like trying the minis before I commit to the big big boy um, and then I have a lip liner from Morphe this is the cheapy and this is in the shade quick crush this is a recommendation from someone who is uh, watching my video and thank you for the recommendation sorry i'll have to go back to find your name um but yeah very pretty nude kind of like mauvey tone um and then we have the praline the house labs by lady gaga phd hybrid lip glaze in the shade praline so I wasn't sure if I want to use this today or the Gucci. Probably Gucci, but we'll see. And then a little mini, teeny, tiny mini of the highlighter in Mesmerize by Rare Beauty. They just, I probably won't use this one today. I'll use it another day. And then the Makeup by Mario lip pencil in the shade tan, and I'll show you that one. His packages are always so hard to open. I don't know why. Oh, I forgot there's a sharpener. Okay. So, let's see what this one looks like. It's a little warm. Um, okay, we'll see. I don't know about this one. We'll see. Okay, so let's get started. I'm sorry, that literally took 13 minutes already. Just me explaining what I picked up. Um, I also really wanted to try the new MAC Studio Fix Fluid um, foundation. And so I got a sample, and wow, she really filled it up for me. That's awesome. And so I got the shade NC13, so we're going to try that out today. I didn't want to use it with a primer because I want to see how it does on its own. But I, like I said, I'm wearing the glow screen, so hopefully that doesn't interfere with the wear of it. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to just dip in with my brush. Ugh, I have to be careful because I feel like this is going to... going to spill over so at first I'm like I don't know this seems pretty light this I was gonna do NC 12 way back in the day when I worked at Mac like this is going back 15 years um I used to be an NC I could pull up NC or NW 15 or 20 depending on the time of the year but they changed them since then because that was so long ago. They changed the numbering system, so it's all different now. Okay, so I like how that instantly took down that shine. It's looking pretty so far. 
Okay, I'm going to just gently dip in this. Ooh, I took way too much. Okay. Okay. But anyways, yeah, so I tried the NC12. It was way too light because I knew I wouldn't be 15 or 20 anymore because they had definitely made them darker than they used to be. Um, so I tried it in store and this one was the best one. The other ones were way too orange. I did try 15. 12 was way too light. So this one seemed much better. And then we were a little bit worried that it would be too light, but it oxidizes a tiny bit. So once it oxidizes, it kind of oxidized into like the perfect shade. So I know right now I'm probably looking, you know, a little bit pale, but the other ones were just way too orange. I think this thing is getting loose, you can hear it. I mean, it's just an elf brush. It's looking really good so far. And I didn't put any like pore minimizing anything on my face, so. I'm just gonna put a tiny touch more on my forehead and a little bit on this side and then on my nose. I don't normally do my foundation like this, but I just had way too much on my brush. I'm always getting like a little bit of redness here. I really try to like cover that part up. And I think I need my sponge for my nose. Just take it the tiniest little drop. I don't know why I have like a big red dot on my nose. It's not really like a zit. It's just looks more like a hive or something. So tell me what you guys got during the sale. Is there anything that's like really standing out to you? I was kind of looking at the Laura Mercier powder and then I was looking at the Hourglass powder that sold out so fast. Then it came back, then it sold out again. So I was like, okay, I'm just like over it at this point. So I guess I'll just wait for reviews. One of my friends here on YouTube was telling me she heard from uh, a friend of hers who works in retail that it wasn't great. So I said, yeah, maybe I should wait for reviews. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully close that. Okay, so again, that is NC13, and I think that's a good shade. It doesn't really look too light or too dark. I think it's just perfect. So now we're gonna go in with this faux filter, and my friend here on YouTube, Paint the Face, uh, Rhoda, had mentioned that this is actually not as thick as the concealer and she's definitely right which is what made me go ahead and pull the trigger on this one because I was worried it was going to be as thick as the concealer because it's a little too much for me but she said nope and she was right so have a little bit just in the inner corner and then I think I'm going to use my tower 28 concealer so we'll just see how this does to correct. Hmm. 
Mm. I feel like that did take away a lot of that darkness already. Plus that Pat McGrath powder is supposed to also be brightening, so that should also help. And I'll just go in with my Tower 28. Maybe I should have let that sit a tiny bit longer, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm already 20 minutes in and I haven't done anything. Okay. I'll maybe like cut some stuff out. Like I'll probably just go do my, my other eye off camera just to save some time here because I don't want you guys to be bored out of your minds. I mean, that looks good. I'm excited. I might have two wins here, the Cali Ray and this one. I know Simply Blair really loves this one. Okay, and she likes the Kelly Ray too, actually. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the Pat McGrath, and where is my... So I usually just use a puff, and then I'll take some of it off on my hand. And this is very like silky, smooth, very fine powder. So I do think it definitely works really well for the under eye area. I mean, hi, awake, good night. <laughs> Especially here, wow. So definitely made a difference. So I'm just gonna go off camera, do the other eye, and I'll be back for the bronzer. Eyes are done, brighter than the sun. No, I'm kidding, but they look good. They're nice and awake and brighter and makes me look more alive. And so I also put the YSL powder over the top of that foundation, which is the all Hours Hyper Finish Powder, and I have the shade 01. And let's go in with the new bronzer. Again, this is shade 00, Sun Kissed Haze. Okay, this is very soft, like too soft. So if you're, in my opinion, in my opinion, if you have a bronzer that's a little bit too dark or too pigmented, then I would use this because I feel like, okay, then it'll actually give you the pigment that you want instead of too much. Like, it'll actually apply it lightly. <laughs> okay, let me just rephrase this because I feel like I can't talk right now. I usually like a more dense brush because I have lighter bronzers and I like them to be a little bit darker. I like more pigment. But my Chanel bronzer for instance, is quite pigmented and it's a little bit too dark, like bordering too dark. So I feel like this would be the perfect brush to use because it won't apply too much pigment. But for me right now with this specific bronzer, this is just not giving enough. Because this is a lighter bronzer, I feel like I want to use a more dense brush. Like it's just so big. I don't know. I feel like I should have got the powder brush instead of the bronzer brush because I used it, I could have used it for bronzer or powder. So I'm just going in with my, It's this one's a little bit more dense so you can actually see the color of the bronzer here. I also picked these up, the RMS bronzers. So I'm gonna use this in my video next week. This is Beach Walk Betty, which is the lightest shade and then Tan Lines, which is kind of a more medium shade. They are very glowy, but I'll show you how that works on somebody who already has kind of combo oily skin. This one is in fact matte. So if you're like me and you're oily and you like a matte bronzer, I like both, to be honest with you. 
then I think you'll like this one. But yeah, it just comes down to a few mind if there's fragrance or not because but the quality like everything looks really good like it's it applies really nicely not having any patchiness the shade is really pretty i heard that i was gonna get the second shade and i'm glad i didn't because i heard that it's very very warm so i mean this one has some warmth to it too Let me see. So I would say if you like more neutral shades and less warmth, you might not like them, but I would say check them out in store. They didn't have them in store when I ordered it. They had just, just come out. But yeah, I'm really liking it so far. I really liked the other one too. And it looks like that is removed from the Sephora site, the one that is in the shade Mallorca that I used to use all the time. It's removed from the site, but I saw them still in stores, so probably just getting rid of what they have, I'm assuming. Okay, so let us just grab a powder brush and just kind of blend this out a bit. And I don't know which blush to use. I'm assuming you'll probably want to see how the NARS ones perform. So maybe let's do that. <laughs> I want to use this one. It's so pretty. Okay. Maybe I'll put some on later over top of this. So we will go in with, I love this blush brush. This is the 96 brush. And again, the shade is Sex Appeal. And I saw Sophia use it in her most recent video. Actually, she might have posted one after. I think she posted the video yesterday or the day before. And it looked so good on her. So as you can see, it does still have some color to it. You look at it and you're like, that's not going to show up. But it does. It does remind me quite a bit of the shade Intimate from Armani, number 10. And I really like that one too. I did use this one day mixed with the e.l.f. blush. Um, this one here, and I thought these two shades just looked so good together. So if you want just like a little more punch to the blush, I feel like if you use a liquid underneath then it will really just kind of make it pop and these are very this is a matte blush very smoothing i feel like it definitely just like smooths any texture i have on the cheeks that looks really good so i do kind of like layer this one quite a bit just because i want that blush to pop just a little bit more but yeah I feel like that's kind of the perfect amount a lot of people are probably like that's way too much but that's fine because as you'll see throughout the video it'll gradually get lighter and lighter that's just my face just eats blush so that is sex appeal so now we'll go in with the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This is double zero, or sorry, zero zero one universal. So they're just called Strobe. The two up here are called Strobe, white and gold, and then blush and blush, pink and bronze. So they're calling these blushes and they're calling these strobes. Sure. I call them all highlights. So let's go in with the white and gold and just mix the two. Can you see? I just feel like they have like a really kind of subtle sheen to them, which I think is very pretty. For me, it takes me time to like fall in love with something. I mean, sometimes the odd time there's just like a right off the bat. I love something, but it's like a highlight. I don't know. I need to use it a little bit. 
but yeah, I feel like that's it's very pretty. I don't know that I'm like obsessed, but I do think it's very pretty. I'm not returning it. I do really like it. So let's contour the nose and then we'll get to the eyes. Future me here to tell you I'm a dumbass and uh, somehow did not get, sorry, I took my lipstick off to show you this. Somehow did not only forget to not get me applying my lipstick and lip liner, but I also didn't get my eye makeup. So I don't know what happened, <laughs> but I'm back. And this is actually the end of the day. The sun, as you can see, going down. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do that. I'm going to show you the eye look again. So I already have it on this eye. I tried to take off as much as I could without having to redo my entire face. But So this is just the base I use, which is the MAC. Okay, we're recording. Okay. We're in business. The MAC Paint Pot. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dog walking around. It's just what she does. Um, okay, so this is the Sephora Precious, Sephora Collection Precious Gemstones palette. So this is a warmer one. You can see there's some shimmer here. This one is more like a matte with a little bit of sparkle. These three are mattes. And then we have the kind of like satiny shades. There's one shade that I used today that I, like I'm not in love with and it was the lid shade, but we're going to use it anyways because that's what we did. So I'm going to go in first with this lighter shade and hopefully I'm not going to be in the way here. So I just put this through the crease. I can't believe I did that. I never do that. And I'm like here chatting away with my fiance, doing my other eye, and I would have just put a voiceover on it, but... I realized that for most of the second eye application, I was not in frame because I just went off camera to do the second eye. So I was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. We're just chatting away and I'm like down here. I'm like, what am I doing? So yes, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah, not my finest work. So I'm just going into that second shade, this guy here and just blending that in too and honestly i'd probably just stop here because i like the way that looks and i usually like a matte look but because i didn't do that earlier i'm going to take this shade here and i did say in my first video that i thought i was recording i don't generally use a lot of like coppers and bronzes so that's not really my forte I wish this was more like, not a gold, but something, I don't know. What do we think? I don't know. Do you like it? Like, I don't mind it. I don't mind, like, the finished eye look. But I do think that these eyeshadows really perform very nicely. I've had zero issues with this. I'm sorry, my bed is not made. It was, but... My fiance took a nap before hockey, obviously. Um, but yeah, I've had zero issues with any of these palettes. So I also have that that other one. What was it called? I can't remember. But it's a cooler toned one. So I'm just taking that bright kind of beigey shade and just putting it in the inner corner. It's not a super complicated look or anything it's just frustrating because I just wanted to show you how it performed and then all of a sudden I'm like oh and it's gone all the footage is gone that is such a me thing to do but I'm glad I came back where there was still a little bit of sun so you could at least see what it truly looks like so I'm gonna go in with whiskey and I'm gonna try to do this over top I obviously always do my mascara last, so this is not how I normally do things. I'm probably getting mascara or eyeshadow all over my lashes, but that's fine. So, yeah. So basically what I'm going to do is just plop this in where it should have been, and then we'll go back to 
me telling you that I forgot to film the portion where I was doing my lipstick, but I will do it right now so you can actually see what it looks like. And then I'm just going to go in with this deeper shade, probably these two right here, and just go on the lash line with that just to kind of smudge it out a bit. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I literally never do that. I just short-circuited. <laughs> I don't know. I just went to my parents' place for dinner and I was editing the video and I'm like, where's the rest of it? <laughs> and I thought maybe I deleted it by mistake, but no. I just wasn't recording. Because there was a part, it's so weird, there was a part that I did have to delete because it's just me, like, not talking. And I'm just like, for like two seconds, and then that was it. And I'm like, what happened there? So I'm just going to go in with, I think, these two lightest shades. So this brown and this brown, There's those are just the two mattes. Just go under the eye. I, st I didn't take off anything from under the eye. I'm just showing you what I had put there. And then I went in the waterline with Ash from Victoria Beckham and I do still have some in my waterline so I don't think I have to reapply and then I went in with the Huda mascara and I was saying in the video that I feel like I've missed that mascara I feel like it's so it like really I'm usually not into these silicone wands and I say that all the time but it's like the more I use them the more I like them because what I feel like it does is it just grips every single lash. So I've always loved this like hourglass type shape. But I feel like this one, it just really grabs every single individual lash and coats it. Now this is going to get clumpy because I already have mascara on from earlier. So I'm just going to leave it alone. But yeah, I just really, really like that mascara. And I've missed it. So I'm just going to, I'm not sure if I need powder, but I'm just going to add a little bit anyways. We're going to go in with my new lip liner. So this is the Makeup by Mario lip liner in the shade Tan. And I might just grab this again. And I have a piece of something on my face. Dry skin, cute. This is probably like a little bit darker than I would normally go for. Like just a hair. But I'm gonna keep it because I still like it. I am liking how this foundation wore throughout the day. I mean, I'm still a little bit oily, but I feel like no matter what I wear, I'm oily. So it's like, what do I do? I mean, I didn't wear a primer and I also didn't use the setting spray. So those are things that I would normally do that I didn't do today just because I wanted to see how the foundation itself wore. And I also wore it over the glow screen. So, I mean, that can be my fault, you know. Anyway, let's go in with the lipstick. This is the Gucci Satin Lip Color in the shade Lorna Dune, and it's number 102. And again, I'm just going to grab this little palette here. And just to show you, it's like my exact lip color, but just better. I'm sorry if that's annoying to anyone. The click clacking on the floor. We think she's got a little bit of dementia and so she does a lot of that. And she also does like circling because either dementia or because she has that vestibular issue so she circles to the right but it's like I feel like 
I don't want you to see my closet. I feel like that's making her more dizzy, so it stresses me out because I'm like, stop circling. I don't know. I'm upset. There's a lot of stuff going on with her and uh, my dog, if you don't know what I'm talking about. And it's just upsetting. Like, I just, she's getting older and there seems to be like more and more health issues coming up. I just uh, don't want to talk about it and I don't want to come to reality with it because we've only had her for seven years but when we got her she was between three and five years old so yeah <sighs> anyways it's depressing I don't want to talk about it but yeah we brought her to the chiropractor yesterday which we think maybe helped a little bit for arthritis Sorry about my hair, by the way, I just have it in a clip. But um, yeah, so we're hoping that will help a little bit in the long term, but we just don't know. We just don't know. We don't want her to be in any pain. We have to think of like a type of pain management to give her. She was on gabapentin, but that made her more dizzy. So we have to figure out something, but if she was really in like severe pain and we saw that and she wasn't, you know, running, jumping, excited to eat and stuff like that, then of course we would have to make that decision. But for right now, I don't want to even have to talk about it. So let's get back to makeup. Um, yeah, so that is the lipstick very close to my lip color. It's looking darker right now because the sun is setting, but um, I really like it. What I do like to do, I mean, I think you know this about me already, is just take a little bit of my Sephora collection cream lip stain and just always dab a little bit of that in the center. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the palette and I really like the lipstick. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to be like right in the sun. So this palette is really good no issues uh there was like a teeny tiny bit of fallout but i think that was more for me taking it off and reapplying it um but yeah no issues with that and i really like the gucci lipstick and the makeup by mario uh pencils i mean i knew that i like his pencils so yeah back to past me to finish off this video i wasn't recording i wasn't recording okay so I just went in with, I'm so mad, <laughs> I just went in with Lorna Dune lipstick and then I used the tan lip liner and I actually am really liking how it looks. The only thing is I went in with the lipstick first and then I went in after with the lip liner. I would do the opposite because this is a satin lipstick, it's just kind of too like slip and slide to put the uh, lip liner over top. I prefer when there's a grip, put the lip liner on and then do the uh, lipstick afterwards. So now I am talking about this brow, but I'll just show you on the next one because I just was talking about it the whole time and you didn't see any of it. This is the ABH, so annoyed, so stupid um brow freeze gel and this is the mini like i said so what i was just saying about this one is that there is quite a bit on the applicator so i like to just kind of brush a little bit of that off because it can get like kind of gloopy and the brush head is like basically identical to the benefit 24 7 or 24 hour brow setter but mine is a little bit dried out so I kind of like when it gets dried out because right now it's just this thing is just too gloopy for me but I really really like it the only thing I do to combat this is take a spoolie and just kind of brush that out and while I'm doing that I'm kind of placing the brow hairs where I want them so that's kind of like where I'd like them to be. So I do really, really like this one. This and the 24 hour brow setter 
is the only thing that will keep my brows in place. The Rare Beauty doesn't work for me. The brow freeze in the tube tub here. This one, the wax, doesn't work for me. Like anything waxy doesn't work. It has to be a strong hold gel. So both this and the Benefit work really well for me. But like I said, this one is probably just because it's new that it's feeling so like gloopy. But it really does hold. So yes, I have tried this out like all day and it's it's really good and it really holds. So I'm just going to fill in my brow and I'll be back to wrap everything up. Okay, so that is everything. So I just filled in the brows a tiny bit just underneath with the, where is it? Rare Beauty um, pencil. Just I just do the underneath with the pencil and then I filled in with the ABH Brow Powder Duo here in the shade Taupe. And then just a touch of this, which is the Maybelline Build a Brow in the shade Soft Brown, I believe. They don't have blonde, which I wish they did have, because I would definitely get the blonde shade. Um, but yeah, that's the lip. Sorry I didn't show it to you while it was going on, but I'll show you a swatch of it. That's what it looks like. It's basically the exact color of my lips with just like a touch more pink to it and a little less blue purple. Um, yeah, and then the tan lip liner, I actually really like. And I don't know, I'm not feeling anything with the with the spray, the K18 spray, I feel like it, my hair feels fine. So I think just if you do get it, be very careful with how much you're putting in because I think that's gonna make it feel very dry, like textured, but I kind of like a little bit of texture in my hair because my hair is so fine and like limp that it needs it. The MAC foundation, I feel like looks really good. I'm gonna keep trying it, but I'll probably end up getting that one. And the blush is so pretty and cute. Just adding a little bit more like I do. But yeah, that NARS blush formula is still beautiful. Pigmented, very soft and smooth on the pores. Really love the highlight. It's very pretty. I like that it's not over the top. It's just very pretty, like seamless blends into the skin nice. The eyeshadow palette was great. I never have any issues with the Sephora collection. These, uh, what are they called? Precious Gemstone palettes. I have another one of these and it performs perfect. Love the lip shade. Thank you, Khaki. Um, so yeah, I'll use what I wasn't able to use in this video. I'll use in my next one. So I have this. I have the Positive Light tinted moisturizer so i'll use that maybe in the next one and then um i think there's the give blush in the shade honeymoon so maybe i'll mix that with that um and then i'll try the morphe lip liner in the next video and the uh where is it i don't know where it went oh this the house labs i'll use this in the next video too um, the praline shade and I think that's everything so I hope that you enjoyed this video I'm sorry if it was a little bit long but if you know me you're probably used to that by now um, but yeah let me know if you uh, what you picked up what you want to see next and I think that's everything thank you so much and I'll see you soon bye